Julia T. Hey Rev, welcome back. Welcome back, welcome back. Looking forward to hearing the wisdom that you gathered from a whole bunch of whole bunch of young kids this last week. <laughs> and learning some more wisdom this coming week from a whole bunch of little kiddos too. That'd be pretty great. Kathy K. All right, I've got straight up 6.30. I want to continue to remember Joe Campbell in prayer since his arm's torn up pretty good. So Joe and Cynthia and the family, pray that that heals quickly. We're on page 115 of your prayer book, 115. And let's see, today is also Bill Guy's birthday. Happy birthday, Bill Guy. This is good stuff. Oops. This is still there. All right, page 115. I will bless the Lord who gives, my, who gives me counsel. My heart teaches me night after night. I have set the Lord always before me. Because he is at my right hand, I shall not fall. And on page 116, let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. <clears throat> Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. And we continue on page 118 with the Fos Hilaron. Please join me. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Things are in response to your question, Rebecca. Things are stable on my end. Let's see. I don't know about anyone else. All right, our psalms for this evening begin on page 643. They are psalms 42 and 43. Some really beautiful, iconic psalms. You may recognize them once we get to reading. Page 643 and following. Psalms 42 and 43. Hey, Pauline. All right, Psalms 42 and 43, please read with me. As the deer longs for the water brooks, so my soul, so longs my soul for you, O God. My soul is a thirst for God, a thirst for the living God. When shall I come to appear before the presence of God? My tears have been my food day and night, while all day long they say to me, Where now is your God? I pour out my soul when I think on these things. 
how I went with the multitude and led them into the house of God with the voice of praise and thanksgiving among those who keep holy day. Why are you so full of heaviness, O my soul? And why are you so disquieted within me? Put your trust in God, for I will yet give thanks to him, who is the help of my countenance and my God. My soul is heavy within me, therefore I will remember you from the land of Jordan, from the peak of Mizar among the heights of Hermon. One deep calls to another in the noise of your cataracts. All your rapids and floods have gone over me. The Lord grants his loving kindness in the daytime. In the night season, his song is with me, a prayer to the God of my life. I will say to the God of my strength, why have you forgotten me? And why do I go so heavily while the enemy oppresses me? While my bones are being broken, my enemies mock me to my face. All day long they mock me and say to me, where now is your God? Why are you so full of heaviness, O my soul? And why are you so disquieted within me? Put your trust in God for I will yet give thanks to him, who is the help of my countenance and my God. And then we continue with 43. Give judgment for me, O God, and defend my cause against an ungodly people. Deliver me from the deceitful and the wicked, for you are the God of my strength. Why have you put me from you? And why do I go so heavily while the enemy oppresses me? Send out your light and your truth that they may lead me, and bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling, that I may go to the altar of God, to the God of my joy and gladness. And on the harp I will give thanks to you, O God, my God. Why are you so full of heaviness, O my soul? And why are you so disquieted within me? Put your trust in God, for I will yet give thanks to him, who is the help of my countenance and my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our second scripture reading this evening is from the book of Joshua. We continue traveling across the ancient Hebrew scriptures and traveling with the Hebrews as they enter the Promised Land. Uh, last week, we read the account of the Hebrew spies who were sent into what is today Israel and the West Bank, actually. And they spied out the city of Jer uh, Jericho, rather, city of Jericho. And now we're going to read about uh, the Israelites conquering Jericho. So this is Joshua 6, verses 1 through 14. Jericho was shut up tight as a drum because of the people of Israel. No one was going in, no one coming out. God spoke to Joshua, look sharp now. I've already given Jericho to you, along with its king and its elite forces. Here's what you were to do. March around the city, all your soldiers. Circle the city once. Repeat this for six days. Have seven priests carry seven ram's horn trumpets in front of the chest. On the seventh day, march around the city seven times, the priests blowing away on the trumpets, and then a long blast on the ram's horn. When you hear that, all the people are to shout at the top of their lungs, the city wall will collapse at once. All the people are to enter, every man straight on in. So Joshua, son of Nun, called the, pe called the priests and told them, Take up the chest of the covenant. Seven priests are to carry seven ram's horn trumpets, leading God's chest. Then he told the people, Set out, march around the city, have the armed guard march before the chest of God. And it happened. Joshua spoke, the people moved, seven priests with their seven ram's horn trumpets set out before God. They blew the trumpets, leading God's chest of the covenant. The armed guard marched ahead of the trumpet-blowing priests. The rear guard was marching after the chest, marching and blowing their trumpets. Joshua had given orders to the people, don't shout. In fact, don't even speak, not so much as a whisper, until you hear me say, shout, and then shout away. He sent the chest of God on its way around the city. It circled once came back to camp and stayed for the night. Joshua was up early the next morning, and the priests took up the chest of God. The seven priests carrying the seven ram's horn trumpets marched before the chest of God, marching and blowing the trumpets, with the armed guard marching before and rear guard marching after, marching and blowing of trumpets. On the second day, they again circled the city once and returned to camp. They did this for six days. And here ends the reading. I'm sure we'll get the rest tomorrow. 
Page 120 is our canticle, the Nunc Dimittis. Please join me there, page 120. Let us read together. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. And we continue with the Apostles' Creed. Please join me. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Dear friends, the Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And we continue with suffrages A. Please pray with me. Show us your mercy, O Lord. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. Lord, keep this nation under your care. Let your way be known upon earth. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Create in us clean hearts, O God. Almighty God, the fountain of all wisdom, you know our necessities before we ask and our ignorance in asking. Have compassion on our weakness and mercifully give us those things which for our unworthiness we dare not, and for our blindness we cannot ask. Through the worthiness of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. On page 123 is the Collect for Saturdays. Please pray with me. O God, the source of eternal light, Shed forth your unending, your unending day upon us who watch for you, that our lips may praise you, our lives may bless you, and our worship on the morrow give you glory. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And if you will, turn with me to page 817. We'll pray prayer number nine together for clergy and people. Page 817, number 9. Prayer for us. For us. <clears throat> Excuse me. Please pray with me. Almighty and everlasting God, from whom comes every good and perfect gift, send down upon our bishops and other clergy, and upon the congregations committed to their charge, healthful spirit of your grace, and that they may truly please you, pour out upon them the continual dew of your blessing. Grant this, O Lord, for the honor of our advocate and mediator, Jesus Christ. Amen. O God, you manifest in your servants the signs of your presence. Send forth upon us the spirit of love, that in companionship with one another, your abounding grace may increase among us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. This time I invite your thanksgiving and intercession silently or aloud.
The final prayer is back at the front on page 126. The prayer of St. Chrysostom. When you get there, let's pray together. Page 126. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you've promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Dear friends, let us bless the Lord the God of hope. Fill us with all joy and peace and believing to the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Uh, well, thanks, Lisa, for posting that. Prayers for Coleman and for you and Pauline. Prayers for Tim as well. Well, let's see. Uh, tomorrow, as usual, we have our worship in church at 930 and online at 930 as well. Uh, in-person Bible study at 11, and then Father Bill will be taking care of you at 6.30 with evening prayer back here. So I hope you have a blessed evening, friends. <laughs>